we're going to do everything we can to look at those structural systems, including ground penetrating radar, the columns, the beams, the slabs. Now at five, Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett raises safety concerns about Champlain Towers North, the sister tower of the condo that partially collapsed nearly two weeks ago. But that's not the only building people are concerned about. Some have been evacuated. In the case of at least one building, we have the results of the investigation following reports that caused the concern. CBS Force Peter Dench is live in North Miami Beach with the information. Peter. Well, Elliot, Crestview Towers right here in North Miami Beach is one of two buildings in Miami Day that were evacuated this past weekend because of structural and electrical problems. And meanwhile, the mayor of Surfside says town has launched a thorough review of Champlain Towers North. Surfside Mayor Charles Burkett says the town is probing the safety of Champlain Towers North. The replica building is just one block north of Champlain Towers South. Which is essentially the same building built by the same developer at the same time with the same plans, probably with the same materials. And given we do not know why the first building fell down, we have significant concerns about that building and the residents in there. Last month, Burkett said a quick review by officials of Champlain Towers North showed nothing unusual, but a thorough review is now underway. We're going to do everything we can to look at those structural systems, including ground penetrating radar, the columns, the beams, the slabs, and try to get our arms around uh, uh, what may be happening, what did happen. There have been voluntary evacuations from the North Tower. We have some concerns about, not just some, but deep concerns about that building, especially given we don't know uh, what has happened there. But our engineer uh, is uh, actively working on it as our town official is. In North Miami Beach, the 10-story Crestview Towers remains evacuated after the city learned of an engineer's report showing electrical and structural problems in some beams, columns, and balcony slabs. As you know, we have a legal and moral obligation to safeguard our residents. So until proper documentation is turned in and we can vet the documents, and the information, um, that building will remain closed. Miguel Jimenez, who rented an apartment on the seventh floor, says he will not return. I don't want to go back to the building. In Miami Beach, an engineer has been hired to inspect this evacuated three-story building on Lenox Avenue. A building inspector reportedly found structural problems, including a flooring system failure and excessive deflection on an exterior wall. And one week after this video on social media revealed cracks in exposed rebar in the ceiling of the parking garage underneath Mason Grand on Miami Beach, the city says that condominium building has been deemed safe. And back here live right now, Crestview Towers, the city said that the condo board was going to have a structural engineer this past weekend look at the building's safety. The deadline for that report was going to be today. The city would then have to review that report. We're live in North Miami Beach. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Well, Peter, I know you talked to the uh, city manager there in North Miami Beach. What else did he tell you about the building? Well, the most important thing, Elliot, was that the city is going to be extremely careful before letting anyone back in. They're going to thoroughly study that new report. Safety is paramount. Sure is. Peter Dench, thank you so much for that report.